Hello, ladies. Welcome to tonight's episode of Wine, which for me consists of White Claw, Hard Seltzer, Pure means there is no flavorings, no colorings, no nothing except a fizzy, fizzy sip, right? You grab what you're drinking, tea, coffee, water, wine, bourbon. I don't judge. I'm just here for the... Hi, Yvonne. How are you doing? So we made these earlier today. I don't know if you remember, but now I got to get them put on something uh, stable so that I can cut them into, you know, like uh, ATCs and Twinchies and whatnots. And so here I am using matte gel to glue them onto this surface. So how are you this evening, young lady? Hmm? I have been so busy every evening this week. I was so excited when this tonight kind of got casual, you know? It's like, oh, I don't have anything I need to do? Well, then guess what? This is what I'd like to do. Oop, come on. I think I might need to put more down. Yes, purple-licious, wasn't it? Now, that's all Chiquita. She was the one that asked for it. I was doing a whole shabby chic vibe, but I'll tell you what, of all the color combinations, I love the pinks and teals and purple and teals and orange and teals. So I really kind of love the teal added in, right? It definitely gives it something. Now let me, you're drinking some sweet tea. Is it hot where you are? Where are you, Yvonne? I always say Yvonne, it's Yvonne. And I just, I have a, a mental thing about making, saying things the way I think they should be said instead of the way they are. Oh, it is beautiful together, isn't it? Purple and teal. We're getting there. This one's going to be gorgeous. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Oh, there we go. This, once it dries, is going to make an absolutely fabulous background right for an atc central cal oh 100 and yvonne oh my gosh you are so close to me chiquita and i talk about how close we are she is in california also now there is also this one which i didn't i don't think i'm considering this one finished i definitely could give this one a little bit more attention but I got going on the purples and teals and everything that I was just so excited. I'm going to be working with Kathy tomorrow in the mixed media arena on her channel. And I will be doing um, some stuff with that new um, supplies that I ended up showing today. The new mixed media supplies. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, 45 minutes. Oh, my gosh. That is so close. Now remember, these were created on brown paper bags. Right? Which gives us a really good feeling about um, upcycling, right? Taking something that normally would have gone into... Even recycling, I've been told, is only like 40% of the actual item is made into something else. So it still ends up giving us a bit of overflow in our planet. So but I am rollering it with a um, brayer to get the glue pockets out from underneath it and make sure there's no bubbles. And then wipe in the edges so that they are ad adhered nicely. Don't want any bubbles or pockets. And then once this is dry, I can cut this up. Okay, so now there's this one too. 
but I'm going to have to use this piece here. What did I do? I thought I did this. Hi, Miss Who. Hi, Stace. I am in um, uh, the Portland area. Portland. I, I am like the 25 minutes from the Washington border, an hour and a half from the Pacific Ocean, and two or, or four hours from the mountains and desert. So I am so close to everything. How is everybody? Now, this was a paper towel roll, okay? So um, if you're curious about how this went down and what, what got me going on this, watch the first episode of the um, the uh, Trashy to Treasures Thursday hashtag because it turned out fabulous. I was really happy with um, the way that everyone responded to the idea. Drove through Portland on our way to call Canada two years ago. Yes, you would have. You know, I've never been up to Canada. Did you like it? Would you do it again? Should should I get get it figured out? I gotta get my husband's passport figured out. He's from Alabama, so anything he needs to get to figured out is in Alabama, and he always forgets when he's back there. <laughs> okay, so these are the pages that I or not pages. These are the pieces that I made between the uh, paper towel roll, which was this one. And then the other two were um, brown paper bags. Yeah, looked like this. I embossed it and then I textured it and then I painted them. And mostly sprays that I did use some paint. I tried to give you guys, you know, because I never know what, what materials you guys are going to have, right? And so I tried to use a few things. I am getting my fingers yucky, but it has to be done right. And so if that means getting my fingers yucky, that's what happens. We just got done having our first family vacation. We camped for four days, but it ended early. Daughter cut her foot open. And then, oh my goodness. I hope her foot is okay, sweetie. I'm so sorry about that, but camping is so awesome. And as long as her foot isn't hurt forever, it's, it's still going to be a fun memory for her. The whole camping trip family camping is awesome okay so this one has black but it has just a little bit of pink around it because i left some of this pink on the stencil when i put the black through it this is uh laser where is it it's over here it is laser iridescent paste and i get this from Used to go to Albany. Oh, Albany's awesome. We go there occasionally on vacation just because. You know what I'm saying? You just go somewhere. We go over to Bend. We go up to Washington. Go to Mount Hood. Go over to Lincoln City Beaches and Rockaway Beach. So. This is the hardest work of it because, we, as we know, the painting and all that is the fun work. But if you're going to make this into an ATC, it needs to have a uh, sturdy back. Five stitches. Oh. No. Oh. Well, you tell her that I'm proud of her because that was that was that was a really grown up thing to do. Toughened out like that for the whole team, right? Okay, so there's that. So now the other part, so now we have what do we have? We have this one that will be ready to be cut when it's dry. We have this one that will be ready to cut when it's dry. And I'm real partial to this one. Real partial to that one. But I think this one is really beautiful too, just in a different way, right? Very shabby and cheeky. This one is a little more cutesy and colorful, but I'm going to figure it out. And so I'm going to lay those over there. And this is the last one that I painted today. And I'm not sure 
and oh and this is canvas i created today i went ahead and i was telling the ladies that i was gonna pop a hole in it right there or i think i did pop the hole in it but i hadn't put the the eyelet in it so i put the eyelet in it so this is a piece of cardboard that i was using to put on lines on things and i sprayed it you got to check out that video if you're curious about that because i turned this into this on this and oh wow right wow so that's that i have a few more pieces here that i can work with and we can do things i mostly just wanted to hang out you know you get in a in a jibber jabbery mood and i want to hear about how everyone's doing it's thursday does anyone have anything fun planned for the weekend anything anything let's do some colors that we haven't done yet isn't that the best oh okay sarah i'll see you thank you yeah this is my third live today because uh one a lot of coffee and two i um trying to catch up and three just had a lot of fun stuff going on so this is the mariner uncharted mariner kind of a uh teal and then this is a teal that's the oxide now what i'm thinking though is like i was saying about con combining teals with colors i've combined teal with pink and i've combined teal with purple so i'm thinking i'll show you guys how it turns out with an orange it becomes a very grungy beautiful look Now remember, this was um, painted with gesso first. Oh, Yvonne, tell him happy birthday. So this one has been embossed with butterflies and then now we're kind of going for a grungy look you see that this almost gets like a tea dyed color in here isn't that pretty and we have the rich teal on the edges we got this green here a yellowy color here we don't even really have orange anymore do we let's see if we can get some orange in there what can we do can we splatter it we can splatter it a little bit and i didn't put gloves on oh my gosh see it's the wine i'm gonna blame the wine oh my gosh 1956 That is so cool, Shelby. I better get both of them. What are you going to do with them? You have plans? Is that a plan? Is that a plan? I love to use the older books. The covers are just fabulous for. Oh, wow. Look at that. I tore the finger off of that one. I'm too rough, aren't I? And then this one has all its fingers, but it's, I must have grabbed some out when I had something on my hand. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my stencils and try to do, turn them into journals. But I made the mistake of giving my husband a say, ah, ha, ha. does he want to keep them intact? If you guys can resell them for a, for a buck, it might be worth it. You can always come, you can always uh, get some more you know come along ah come along some of them in another t at another time maybe okay so i gotta figure out what i don't know if i want to use the iridescent because we've been using that 
maybe oh you know what let's mess around with these you guys work with these at all anybody 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 some of them are createology they're all water-based here's the gold one i'm going to try to use these are tempera these are king art tempera paint sticks fun this is some sort of metallic marker i was going to use these natural more natural colors and possibly the teal and we'll play around with these so now we've gone from the sprays which we use the distress oxide spray and the dilutions ink spray two of those and now we're going to go for messing around with these now the thing about this is you come in And you just draw it in. And I have not used them in this way, so we're gonna find out. But I think if I if I use if you know using them this way is the same as using them the other way, I can uh, either blend them out and or spray them with water and then blend them out. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We don't know. How would we know? <laughs> he hasn't looked them up yet, so I have to wait for him to look them up. I did look them up. Oh, see? There you go. And then if it's a full set, you got some bank there, girl. And I would not use them for junk journals. I would find another way to get a hold of some books for junk journals. In fact, I'll send you some books for junk journals if you want to get a hold of some older ones. Or not older so much, but uh, good, great books that aren't uh, already worth something. Hi, Hassan. Can you do an alcohol ink day where you show us what you can we can do with them? I got a bunch and they are droppers and I have no. Oh, yes. Hi, Hassan. Thank you for the luck. And our uh, droppers and have. Oh, OK. Well, do you have answer me this? Do you have um, like photo paper? Now let's see if we move this around. Well, it didn't do what I was hoping through the stencil, but it has become another layer that is working out just fine because if you notice, there's a shine to it, right? And we've added some brown that looks nice. I like that. Now, why would we not drop alcohol ink on this versus the spray? Does anyone know that? The reason why is because alcohol ink on a forest surface will not do anything significant it will just absorb whereas if you use it on photo paper or you po paper it will spread out and blend and it will be beautiful okay uh side time photographer here oh my gosh girl we gotta talk so with the photo paper which gosh you know what i almost always have photo paper sitting right here and might have moved it because i am a dingbat so i'll tell you what you guys look at these and i will come right back with some photo paper okay Ouch. <laughs> spilled those things all over the floor what would wine and mixed media be like without a spill or two? Hi, Robin. You pull paper. So it is. That's why if you hit the secondhand stores, garage sales, people are always getting rid of these. See that? Okay. Now, just because my girl's here and she's curious, I'm going to show her. Boy, a little bit of something. I only got a couple things up here that I can reach. So that's what we're going to work with. But I have everything to do so. You need this. Okay. Alcohol blending solution. You need these, which is alcohol ink. 
or like she said in the droppers or the sprays this one is slate this one is gunmetal and it's the mixative this one is butterscotch we have stream and we have wild plum they don't all go together they may make mud I'm not even sure if this is going to work out this has been upside down let's see no nope. that one's going to have to sit for a bit and get unclogged but let's use this we'll use the pinks and teals together The trick to this is going to end up being that you give it enough alcohol to move around. But you don't want to waste it, right? So what I do is bring in another piece underneath it and I can uh, put my extras, right? Tilt it because this is going to make it move, ladies. Look at that move. Can you see? Oh, you can't see it. You can't see it. It's my camera that far. There we go. Okay, so you see how I'm going to let this pour on here? I know, Stace. I'm so sorry. There we go, though. There is the 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 tealy blue with that pink turned into this beautiful purple, and then over here they both blended and they have a really significant deep royal blue. Okay. Now I also have this product, which is alcohol lift. You guys seen this product? So let's say we get our hands on a stamp here. Possibly, you know how it is with me. Okay, so. So this is how you would mess around with those inks on alcohol or with alcohol paper or not paper. Alcohol inks with photo paper. Can you see that? I don't know if it will work on this. I thought it would. Wow. That's good to know. It works on muco paper like crazy. You see it there though? I wonder if it's too heavy there. Let's try down here so we just know. So what it would normally do is it would lift the alcohol ink. These are Tim Holtz alcohol inks to lift color from non-pore surfaces, which is this. It's just, I think that's too heavy there. I don't know. But that's another way of using some of the products that go along with the alcohol inks. We also always can rely on pencils to do things, right? Let's see if I take a piece, if I wish I had like a piece of cotton swab, but I don't. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to take this alcohol solution. Disappeared from my elderly nibble. Oh, oh, that is so sad. I'm so, I so worry so much about my parents. Let's see if we come in here. You can barely see it because it really got saturated, but you see how it lifted and gave that a little bit of a background design. It works a lot better on UPO paper, ladies, but it is doable. It is doable. Look at that one. I wonder. I wonder, wonder who, 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 who. Who wrote the book of love? Don't sing melody. I always have to remind myself. Just curious what it will do. Because it's just so flat. And that's what I wouldn't want it to be. It's just so flat. I would want it to have a little bit of texture. 
So there's that. That's what it created when I did that. And that is a lot better than what it was. Isn't that cool? Let's do this just to get it to where it's going to set. Now these could be made into ATC cards too, ladies. You got to always remember that anything that you, you know, any substrate that's the background that can that can handle having things layered up on it. I mean, I did it with the brown paper bag. I could definitely do it with these, right? So let's say we wanted, oh, we wanted to go crazy. We do, don't we? I mean, come on. Sing, Melody, sing. Oh, I know my name is Melody. I forget about that, huh? I should sing. That should be what I do. But ever since I can remember when I was in here crafting with my friend, years and years so far now, whenever, because I would say, I wonder all the time, I'd start, I wonder. Then because I wouldn't know how to word what I was trying to think, wasn't ready to actually say it out loud, I would say, I wonder who wrote the book of love in the, you know, singing voice. And she and I both just would laugh at me. And so it's one of my fond memories. And so I try to keep it in my life. Some joys and memories you just cannot, just because there is sad parts of it, you can't, you can't stop. You need it. Okay, ready, set. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is fabulous. Now it looks more red on there than it is. It's actually this really vibrant pink. I don't even know what the color is called. This pink silver. That means that it's pink with silver flecks in it. And I have the same product with black and silver. And this one's really cool too. They're two of my favorite things. I don't use the pink as much. Well, I don't know. I guess I do. Right? Raspberry. Right? Okay. Time for another drink. So here we've done some cool things with photo paper. And then I set that aside. You know, that's always my biggest problem, ladies, is where do I put things? Oop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that pink on there. This is what I love to do. And I don't usually do it with people to where we can discuss it. But guess what? Oh, good. You see pink. Yay. I'm going to take this one, which is the opal glitter medium. And I'm going to put it through here with that pink still on there. And see what we can end up with. Oh, Nelly, this is pretty. This is pretty. You guys, I'm telling you, you could put just about anything on the back, right? Except just mud. And you put this on top of it and you have created something like unicorn level. Hi, hi, corn. Hey, everybody say hi to corn. She's the sweetest lady here and her husband. Bring me joy every single day. Every single day. Oh, look at this, you guys. So what do you think, girl? Oh, my gosh. You got to find it because it's fabulous. And it's so expensive, you guys. Let me show you the bottle again. What did I do with it? It's right here. If you go to Hobby Lobby when Master's Touch is on sale, buy this. Buy the laser one, buy the matte gel, buy the gesso. Those brands are what I use. There are better brands. There are more expensive brands. There are cheaper brands. This is what I like to use. That doesn't mean that's what you have to use, but I'm telling you it's a good buy and the product works well. You can see in the product. Look, look what we did. First, we thought we made a mess, didn't we, ladies? I know what you were saying. You're in the background going, oh, that didn't quite work out the way she was planning. It didn't. But guess what? We have to keep going. You keep layering. Now when I cut this up, I will get some blue, some teal, some pink, some green. And that's when I love it the most. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Again, we always set things aside when we're done. Now, I'm not going to put that in there. I'm going to make, do it on something else. You know what I do, ladies? Well, let's just do it on here. This hasn't been painted yet, though. <gasps> dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. Let's just grab a new one. I like to take... Uh, the ladies who receive envelopes from me know that I like to um, decorate them. And how I do that is by taking my leftovers and smearing them on envelopes to get a background started. 
and then I go from there. So I just want to get everything off of the stencil and everything off of my palette knife. Pull it up, turn it around, do it again. All right, just making background noise and I can layer up from there. And I want you guys to always know it doesn't have to be perfect or beautiful. It's it's mixed media. And in all reality, okay, I'll give it the name to you again. In all reality, it's not going to ever be perfect, right? It's That's not what mixed media tends to do for us. Now, the name of it, did I put the, I put, here's the, okay, here's the opal. Here's the laser. Now, hi, Dahlia. How are you doing, sweetie? You're probably thinking, Melody, do you have a life today? No, I decided to just do, do this. This is my life today. And I'm having a blast. I think I'm going to do the squares, but I want to put some of the iridescent on here. And that will make all of this just pop. All right. Got to make sure I get... The pink just wouldn't go with what I'm doing, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not that picky and I would do it. I would just throw it in there. Okay, here we go. Now this one we use teal and orange because we were going for a grungy look. There's butterflies in the background, alcohol inks, gesso, and it is... Um, embossed with an embossing folder and it's just a piece of cardboard oh wow what do you think what do you think is that is that awesome or what so think of that in a two and a half by three and a half or a two by two right you're washing dishes in the two these thunderstorms had me struggling. Oh, yes, it's been. I've had some other people like um, I went to Val's or uh, Donna Dreams Times Three had a had a sale today, and they couldn't get uh, Val on there because she was having internet problems. Oh, that iridescent turned that orangey brown into the most beautiful rusty color. Do you see that? And I know that's not everyone's thing, but you have to appreciate when you can see colors blend like that, even if it's not your color scheme, right? That's the way I look at it. Because once you learn the technique, you can do it with any color. It's not the color that matters. It's the technique. Some of the products and then some of the layering technique. Okay, so that goes into the pile. Now, what does that leave us with? It leaves us with this one. And I think I could, what could I do with this one? I mean, I obviously could do the, obviously could do the iridescent, but what could we do that would be crazy? Oh, oh, see the back in the day, Shelby knows me from my Facebook group and I, I did 500 videos in there in two years. So I was live in there all the time and they would be, the, my ladies would be in their car. They'd be in the living room. They'd be sitting with their family at dinner and they would be listening to my silly butt doing silly things and saying silly things. And they're all just so sweet for being so wonderful about it because, uh, yeah, I'm just, just, I don't know, <laughs> just, just I'm trying to think what would pop on this. I have. A pale pink here. I don't really think that would add anything to it. Um, I'm trying to think about these things. Gold definitely is not what I'm looking for. I could I could accent this with some deeper teal. Oh, totally loving it. Now, is that the teal one or this one? Because this one is a really beautiful uh, kind of a shabby chic feel. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. You see that? Bringing in a deeper teal. That's what we needed. But you don't know until you get a little bit further into the process, huh? And these are just the, uh, this is Createology. And it's a water-based, so it will not uh, be steadfast. If I put some liquid on here, it'll move around. So I have to be careful what I do next. That's why you have to do your layers in the correct order. Oh, that's pretty. 
going to do a little bit of a frame. You know, I got to figure out, I could do some other things besides just ATCs with all of these. But I am really excited about the ATC. Shabby chic. Hi, Latin girl. Alvinia, right? I'm get, I'm trying, you guys. I I'm meeting a lot of new people lately, and I and I hesitate to say names because I'm not sure I'm gonna get it right. But I'm so excited about everyone that I'm meeting. Uh, Chiquita has been so wonderful to include me into her community, and Kathy from Kathy's World has been uh, included me in her community, and I've been including them in mine, and this has been really fun. Okay, let's bring another. Let's look through our colors and see if we can bring back in some of that pink. Right, let's see. I think I need to make another fairy 3D shadow box <gasps> and use the laser iridescent. Yvonne, you got to show me. Thank you, corn. Thank you, Latin girl, Alavina. Hey, Melody, can you attach that to a canvas? Well, you know what? Let's see. I have a couple. Do I have another one over here? Yes, I have one right here. So now this canvas, look at that. I could do several different things. This is a flat canvas. I could also add it to. But the thing is, is that if we do this together, we can start learning. Hi, Kathy. You've been bored to death and you didn't even know I was live. You got to get your, your um, what you call it, sticks. Because I know when you're live, the second you do it, I know when you post a short, when you post anything. I'm a stalker when it comes to a few people. This is wine and mixed media night. So there's no no holds barred. I'm going to grab another canvas here. I have a couple of sizes to pass with you because I have been collecting them even though I wasn't using them the way I've been lately. So this one is a Dollar Tree 8 by 10, which uh, this is the size that I did for Nicole over at Vagabond. This is a six by eight. Now, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Bye, Stay. See you soon. You haven't been on YouTube. What? Is that a thing? Do people not be on YouTube? No, I'm trying to get better about it. I am trying to get better about it. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Dahlia. Oops. This matte gel right here is what I would attach it with, but I would decorate the background first, or I could go as far as to put it on there and then decorate afterwards because I can roll that way too. I can roll forwards. I can roll backwards. I've rolled to the side a few times, not as many. Oh, you like it on the canvas. Okay, let's do a canvas because this is the deal. We will decorate it up from here. Now, do you remember those those things I was showing you? These? These, these, and these. Check these out. Who else? Has anyone used these? Okay, I always start with the lighter and then bring up with the dark. Yes, you are you are right. I have ooh, wrong thing I was trying to pull off. Um I have been just, the reason I've been thinking ATC so much and, and Twinchies is because I have a couple of people's channels out there that are like, send me an ATC. And the prize is like 50 bucks. So you got to know. You <laughs> sideways is how you roll. <laughs> right? Okay, so I'm going to start with this green, but then I'm going to get back to the tealy. I just want, I just... You guys, I just, it just, it's in me to have to combine the shades of the color, light and dark of it, right? As many as I can. That's why I just bought some more markers to go with my markers that I had. You just rolled downhill. Girl, you've been rolling like a champ. That's all I know. That's all I can say. She's just rolling like a champ, ladies. She's bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. What can I use? What can I use? I guess I'll just use my fingers. Okay? Because remember, this is a water-soluble. So anything I do after this, and look at, you see the purple coming? Ah, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. 
I'm just trying to get it to where you don't see as much of the white. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Look at you guys. I came on here to do one thing. And y'all got me going in a whole nother direction because I love how you inspire me. Right? Okay. Got to stop. Got to stop. Now what do I do with this, though? But do I need to get new? <laughs> Oh, thank goodness Chiquita's not here. We'd be doing full-on purple, right? Yes, enablers. The laser does some paces on sale now. Okay, Yvonne, is that is that online? You looked it up. Need some yellow Kathy. Okay, you know what we'll do is we'll do that towards the top, okay? Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to spray with some other stuff just to get it all pretty because that's kind of a... That's kind of a um, shabby chic, right? We've got there. So we're going to get that sprayed on there. And then we can do other stuff. We got this going. I want to get these edges just right. So what do you think? Put some pink on this one. And I'm just working with what I got around me. I got other stuff in other areas that would probably do cool things too. But I think that sometimes blue all the way. You need company on this ride. And some... <laughs> you, I'm... You're going to find with me, Kathy. I am more of a um, monotone girl. No matter what it is. If I go dark, if I go light, I tend to be monotone with it. It's crazy. And I'm not necessarily proud of it. But that's, that's the way I roll. It is. Let's try this 3D stamp paint because I can't find the silver because that's the way my day's rolling and I'm just trying to keep the ball rolling don't want to have a big oh my gosh I can't find something so what do I do I can't do anything no I don't do that I just grab something else if you can't find what you really want just grab something else move on there will be another opportunity right to make it perfectly the way you thought you wanted it but honestly, this is mixed media. And for me, mixed media, if it's not messy, it's not fun. It's just not. I can't get my brain around doing something and trying to be perfect. Come on, stencil. The stencil hates me. But it has a good reason. I don't want to, I don't want to trash talk the stencil. I haven't cleaned it in a week. It's got grit on it. It's probably feeling like it needs a shower and maybe even some deodorant or something. I don't know. Melody is one of the most creative people I've ever met. Oh, Shelby, you are just amazing. And that price is good in the store too. HL is not like Shelby. Exactly, ladies. Exactly. No Hobby Lobby by me. Online I go. Okay, so that's what I'll do when I get off here is I'll check out because by the time you're done, if you can get it up to where you can get free shipping ladies, it's worth it. Remember matte gel, which I'm almost out of gesso, the two iridescence. And there is other stuff there. You might, you know, like they have a really great um, master's touch um, pen set. Let me see if I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'll pull that up. This pin set right here is worth it. Versus the, you know, the more expensive, where are they? I have them all. I'm a pin addict. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Melody. And I buy too many pins. Okay, so you see where I'm going with this, guys? Right? Because I kind of want this to pop up off of that. Right? Does that make sense? You guys following where I'm going with this? If this is the same color or darker and this is kind of deep, then it's not going to go where I want it to go. Okay. All corn. You heading out? Big hug, sweetie. You need to go. You wanted to stop by and watch for a little while. Oh, thank you so much. Good night. I just so appreciate everybody. Um, even if it's just a minute, I just appreciate you guys stopping by. Okay, so this product is 3D stamp paint, and it is from Viva. I have it in the silver, and you guys, it is the most awesome thing. I love it so much. But, of course, I set it somewhere, and I can't find it. And, again, that's the way I roll. That's kind of my, more my sideways roll. But, um, 
So we have the canvas here. This has to dry before I can do much of anything else. But the cool thing is once that dries, I can spray things on there and it won't change that at all. It'll change the background a little bit, but that's going to change over time anyways with the things that I'm doing. Right? Yvonne is a pin addict. I am a crafty supply addict. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you. You are, you are completely right. So see how empty my container is? I've been really pushing it. I've never gotten this low, but I, I just haven't gotten to any stores or done anything lately. Alrighty. So if we were to, what's the lid? Underneath? No. Underneath? No. Okay. That doesn't get the lid quite yet. Oh, there it is. No. There it is. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Okay. So. We have these that when they are done, they are going to get cut out and be ATCs. It's going to take a little bit, you can see. And this is just a really light, like inside of a package of paper, not a actual um, chipboard, right? And we have those two that are going to be ready. And these, this one, which is not um, completed, I'm going to do some more with that. These lines I made with the corrugated uh, box, right? Cool, cool, cool. And we have this one that's going to dry and this one will layer up and we will do that together soon, guys. What do you think? We're getting there, right? Let's go ahead and put our iridescence on here because that's going to make this go crazy. Don't you think? But let's figure out what stencil do we want to use? I don't know where I've been hiding all my stencils, but if you could, somebody needs to come help me unpile everything. Who wants to do that? Who wants to do that? If I could just find something. I even have the dots one and I can't find that one anymore. I don't know. See, and I use stencils constantly. It's crazy to not have a stencil at my beck and call that I just am in love with, right? But let's do this really quick and then we'll call it done. We'll use the laser one because it's the best. It's the best. Yvonne says, my craft room is clean, but my living room and kitchen look like a tornado went through and dropped my <laughs> supplies everywhere. Oh, the only thing I've taken out of this room is for collaging and coloring. Otherwise, everything's down here. And I've been trying to be good because it's tough, girls. It is tough when you start getting this everywhere. It's bad enough. My craft room is dirty, but... But I do have coloring supplies upstairs and um, and magazines and collaging supplies, which is a lot, actually. Is a lot. Okay, so here we go. This is our, again, another unicorn or um, Shabby Chic or what else would it be? Fairyland. Has a little bit of white mixed in there, which is going to pull from our background, right? Remember, ladies, this is just a piece of cardboard. She made you go shopping. That's a, what I. That's why I'm getting off here. I got to get shopping because if that sale ends, I'm in trouble. I really, really do need to get some more matte gel. What do you think, ladies? What do you think? <laughs> you can buy more. <laughs> So that's going to go on top of this when everything's dry. And then I'll do some more things to both of them. And we will have created this together. Hi, Mari. And oh my gosh. Again, Sandra, I'm going to have to start emailing you. She comes at the last five minutes of whatever I do. I don't know what it is. Sandra, you are hilarious. You see a mermaid theme? I, I'm seeing, well, yeah, I guess it is a little too glitzy to be shabby chic, huh? Oh, it's so pretty. You're late. You're not late. I'm just, <laughs> I was just at the, I'm going to go shopping is what I'm going to do. And that's all because of Shelby. But there we go. So let's, let's do an overview, right? So this is a project that's come along because of Dahlia. And that's awesome. I might do a giveaway with it. I might, I might, I might. That's what I might do. Now, really quick, we got to do something that I do every time, which is scrape off the stuff onto here. You guys may see this envelope in somebody's happy mail. You never know. 
but I just scrape it off. Whatever gets on the background gets on the background. There we go. See, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, so we, and I say we with the big W, Shelby asked about photo paper or how to work with alcohol ink. So we did these two photo papers and then uh, layered up with texture paste. Vir Virgin River. I'm going to have to check that out. I just finished Good Girls. It has four seasons of it and I just finished that. Okay, so there's that. Then we did this because I, I wanted to show with you guys, share with you guys what you can do with teal and orange, right? More of a grungy look. And then the iridescence work with that just as well as it does this. So we have the iridescence working with dark colors, light colors, grungy colors. It's like, wow, right? Wow, wow, wow. Then we have these two, which are going to be cut up into uh, cards and atc cards and whatnots and so that was fun we got some work done layering done mixed some colors up we're going to get together tomorrow at noon i'm going to be on kathy's channel tomorrow at noon doing this similar type of thing okay if you want to see it show up noon at kathy's world definitely go subscribe to her so you don't miss anything I always want to tell you guys, if you use matte gel with your brushes, if you do not wash this, it will be ruined forever. I'll show you one. This is one I did not wash. I'll still use it because that's, again, how I roll. But it's better if this is washed. <laughs> Three Eastern. I say, I've been saying noon because most of the ladies here are from California. Um, drama, violence, mystery. Sandra's like, what? What is it about? dark shadows my husband dahlia my husband watches that stuff oh my gosh that is so funny so everyone gonna join us tomorrow you're so you're so cute oh a link yes uh shelby um let me see what i can do i don't yes i have my phone i'm like i don't have my phone but yes i do let me do this because i can sit and jabber without everything moving around right let's check these off so i don't get anything on my phone Okay, see, and I had already started working, so I messed up. I, I, I so messed up stuff. So, let's see. Jess started season four on Monday. You guys should have seen me binging the show I was watching. It's I, I couldn't even bring my head up out to do anything. Okay, so I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to grab Kathy's World, which is probably already, there it is. I am going to um see if i can share right that's how it works copy link and then i'm gonna go into messenger grab my girl where's my girl there she is and i'm going to share it there so she will be set for tomorrow okay shelby all righty you guys are so awesome acrylic gel melody how do you use it acrylic gel now i need to know is it gloss is it matte if i could see the container oh and there's a link mandalee thank you so much pumpkin oh i just love her she's so on the ball um acrylic gel this is acrylic see acrylic medium matte gel so i wonder i wonder gloss you use it to seal your project. So let's say, but you have to be careful because if your project has water soluble, um, like this one, if I was to just throw a paintbrush on here, it would move all of my colors. So a spray would be better, but you can use it. I use it on my jelly plate to pull up images. So we might should do that sometime. So I can show you at least what I do with it. But um, it's it's meant to seal things. But you have to be careful what you use. You, if you use acrylic paints, it will go over it and not move them, right? I know you are, Dahlia. 
Yeah, Margaret, meet Kathy. You guys, Margaret's awesome. And Kathy's awesome. You guys definitely. And you said housework earlier, laugh out loud. Uh, I thought that that I, <laughs> yeah, I, I should be doing housework. And I've been binging shows. I've been so terrible. Today, I did, I did some things. I don't know. You guys, my kids have moved out. I have two dogs. Sometimes, some days, I manage to make sure my husband has clean clothes, that the dogs have food and water, and that's it. <laughs> right? I either am down here or I'm watching the television. Other days, I get everything done. This one is really, really grungy, and it's uh, just another way to add teal. All of these have a certain amount of teal in it. So this kind of gave you an idea of the different tones of teal on how you can work them so you can work them light you can work them dark right and you can do the same thing with purples you could put purple with green and make it dark you could put purple with pink and make it light right thank you dahlia really honestly you guys i i my art therapy sessions you'll find out i am not going to try to tell you that i've got everything figured out i am not going to try to tell you that uh i am a um you know like productive human being at all times i'm really not sometimes it's i'm just lucky to show up and that's why these sessions this is what helps me this is what my my downtime it's like okay i don't have anything i have to do don't have anything that's on a time schedule i don't have anything i'm supposed to get a point across or sell or buy or do anything i'm just messing around with inks and you guys know more than anybody how much i love doing this i could do this forever but there's so much more to a YouTube channel, right? I have to edit. I have to come up with plans. I have to do collabs. Collabs and challenges are part of the deal. That's how you meet people. And that's okay. I, I love. He does his. <laughs> Mine will by the time he retires, let me tell you. But see, right now he's 50. He's 52 and he still works. Uh, and I have resigned myself to uh, letting him do the shopping and helping me in the kitchen. I'm okay with that. I've gotten okay that far, but I still make sure that I keep his laundry going. It's just one of those things because he'll wear dirty clothes sometimes. He's so bad. He'll be like, oh, crap. Okay, I'll just throw those back on. I'm like, no, some woman's going to think that you're available because you're dressing like a damn hobo, right? I don't <laughs> let him do that. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. I must have been in Hobby Lobby holding your card for you. <laughs> Did you see the question on your IG name? Oh, yeah, she does. She has an Instagram. She has uh, Etsy. She has Facebook groups. She is awesome. You guys you really got to figure her out. I have enjoyed getting to know her so much. And, and I can tell her that I've enjoyed getting to know you guys so much. So this is actually awesome to get you guys all together. Dahlia says, we all try to balance what makes us happy. Some days it's more housework. Some days it's more crafts. And other days it's just being a couch potato. I roll with it. Never know how my day goes. Dahlia, that's exactly the way I've been doing it for years now. Now, when the kids were little, it was a completely different story. But you know what? We all got to have that time in our life, right? Robin, girl, we got to talk about that cover. Let me know what you're going to want to do because I can, I can help. I can help. I can help. Do you guys see that some of this is, is uh, altering the ink here? It's really pretty cool what's happening there. And this still, you can see the H from the hugs that I stamped on there. <laughs> okay, ladies, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go hang out with the hubby, 6 o'clock here in uh, sunny Oregon. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow at noon, uh, Pacific Standard, 3 o'clock Eastern. We'll still, I'll leave all this mess out and we'll just keep going, okay? Big hugs, you guys. I really appreciate you. And like the girl said, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.